Uh, I'm Colleen Litchfield. I'm playing Una in the play Blackbird by David Harrower. I'm Frank Lawler, and I'm playing Ray in David Harrower's Blackbird. I'm Kimberly Loren Eaton, and I'm the director of Blackbird by David Harrower at Harlequin Productions. Um, yeah, yeah. Some funny things have happened on stage. We could basically have to take all of the humor we can find because there's really <laughs> not much in this. I mean, there is humor. It's dark humor when it comes up, yeah. I suppose. But um, the water bottle is a great one, though. Well, it's like a curse. There's this water bottle on stage that is supposed to be very easy to you know, but because we're supposed to drink out of it. Every time we use it, one or both of us can't. And there's like what feels like a million years, but it's probably only like ten. 10 seconds is still a long time of trying to open a water bottle on stage, giving up, and then just <sighs> gesturing I guess I'll be for the thirsty. rest of the time. Um, and then trying not to break. But yeah, it's kind of a cursed water bottle. When the show ends, we're, we're pretty drained. Um, so uh, I've made it a priority to have like a really fun come down playlist for the dressing room when I'm taking all of this off and going back to normal to just have some fun jams that I can sing along to and dance to that are fun. Um, yeah, making the dressing room, like decorating it, making it kind of a haven so you can get out of it at the end. Meanwhile, the men's dressing room is silent as death. You should make a playlist. I, I probably should. I love working in Olympia. I think the Pacific Northwest is beautiful. The weather's beautiful. I like the vibe of this city. It feels really authentic. We have some hipster areas in New York where I'm from, but they don't feel as authentic as the vibe does here. People are very welcoming and chill. I'm from Brooklyn. I live in Brooklyn in New York, which is kind of like, I feel like it's trying to be Olympia, but it's really self-conscious and expensive about it. Um, so it's nice to come here where it really feels like this is genuinely the way that people want their town to be um, and to have really cool bookstores and coffee shops and bars and things like that. It's really refreshing and friendly. I really like you know, going out on the town after rehearsal or getting up in the morning and spending a lot of time in coffee shops and getting to know the baristas and going to the park. We run lines a lot in the park quietly for this play because there are some disturbing things so that people can pick up. Downtown Olympia, it's interesting because it's kind of like, it's kind of like Portlandia squished into a much smaller town, but the same amount of stuff, but just it's there within the same few blocks. It's pretty amazing, the characters you see wandering around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in a good way, in a good way.